Oh, he's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. No, 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 no. Yes, Holy yes, yes, shit. Yes, yes. Holy sh- Hey y'all, 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 hey Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Narrow Warwood. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to Neverboard MMA. I'm your host, George, and my co-host here. Jason. And today we got an ultimate special episode for you Neverboard MMA. Guys, we are actually already reacted to the prelims of the main, the early prelims and prelims of UFC 300. And we're fucking hyped this shit because all these fights have been, if not good, they've been great, epic, and finishes. So, ooh, guys, we got to talk about the main event for this video, and it's going to be... The challenger, Jamal Hill, former champion, hasn't lost the belt, vacated the belt, versus mm -hmm. the current champ, Alex Pereira. Right. My God, Jason, what a crazy fight. I mean, we can go back to when, you know, Pereira won the the vacant title against Prohoshka. Crazy fight. And, I mean, he showed that his power in any range is dangerous. But you got Jamal Hill, who's relentless, who is not afraid to go up against his opponent, is willing to throw it all in the ring to get a dub. Right. And, Jason, bro, give me your thoughts on this matchup, bro. Let's go. Oh, man, dude. This is going to be the real challenge for Pereira, but also a challenge for Hill because we're going to see for the first time who is the stronger lightweight heavyweight champion and who is the stronger fighter because yeah. both of these guys can fight, right? They yeah. both can... Their striking is unpeckable on both ends. Correct. But it's go we're going to see who has the more, more power. We've seen both of their power in different fights, Yeah. but this is the real test because... Even though Pereira won, he'll never lost a title. He he was always the champion. Correct. He lost because of a out an injury that happened outside of the cage, which he couldn't control, of course. Right. And he his real loss was really just uh, a dislocated arm where he couldn't really do anything. And in, even in that moment, he was still fighting. Yeah. He was still. Th I I saw the replay for that. And I'm like. How did this man with the limping arm still was trying to throw punches uh, against Paul Craig? Which that that is crazy. Yeah, and that just shows that how much heart and will um, will Hill has uh, <laughs> to to win this fight. And at the same time, Poetan, he's been doing dude. He is an up and comer that has just taken over and just no. dominated middleweight. You know, he's been he went through really fast, got to the title, won, and then. Came up to light heavyweight, did the same exact thing, and he has some momentum with him too. Right. So it's gonna be so interesting to see how this is gonna happen, like how the clash is gonna happen. I mean, dude, it's it's crazy because right because Jamal Hill had to vacate the title, so it's not like a rematch or no, just straight not. up challenger. He was technically a challenger for this fight, but because right. they had you know they fought for a belt. But even right. so, you could probably both these guys are champions technically walk into the yes. octagon. They yes. both didn't lose their belt, no. so we have a clash of forces where both these guys have ego, pride, momentum on their side, bro. Honestly, Poetan's got that fan, you know. Uh, shit for him, right? Uh, Shama. <laughs> Jama, you know. Jama. And it's great. He's brought a cool sense to the sport. He's got that oral fucking mysticism, like, the crazy native yeah, energy, the indigenous yeah. energy. But Jamal, who's straight, straight hood, bro. He, yeah. he's his energy he brings is like he's always ready. Yes. You gotta put a leash on him because he got that dog in him, bro. He does. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, man. dude, the, from the face offs, and a lot of these guys are straight up scared of you know. Poetan, because you know that power is devastating when it lands. Right. But honestly, maybe if Jamal Hill is scared, he's definitely overcompensating with it. He but is. I, but I think that he actually believes he can get this done. And honestly, that's half the battle to go behind against Poetan. Because yeah, you get the aura, the demeanor, the record, as well as you know the belt on his side. But even so, let's talk about some of the things that in the technicalities of the fight mm -hmm. that can make the difference, right? I can tell you right now that obviously Poetan's kickboxing grip, but we know his grappling is not going to be the best. No. If he can manage some wrestling takedowns great but you got jamal hill who has a well-rounded mixed martial arts fight he's been up against grapplers wrestlers and yes. went through the ufc not because of hype but going through the division itself right, right. so he's got a better exposure of these guys not just of their of their weight but their power as well right so honestly unless poetons get heavyweight power which again i'm not saying he does or doesn't right 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 he, yeah. he got that finish over yuri yes. arguably too soon but another you know that's another yeah yeah but even so the champ still has that power for a reason he's his knockouts in the division were crazy so like honestly in the middleweight and yes. now as well so 
Honestly, it's it's going to be a crazy fight. I mean, another storyline too, Vengeance for Glover. Mm, that's another crazy yes. element. How much is that going to be there? But Till's doing good against Brazilians. So, yes. so I don't know, man. This is going to be a crazy fight to say the least. Jason, give me your thoughts, bro. Yeah, dude. Um, Like you said, like you were just mentioning, uh, Hill has done really well against Brazilians. Like uh, people like Tiago Santos and so many other fighters yeah. and Glover Teixeira. Yeah. Like Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Like the... <laughs> all. <laughs> So it is going to be a test to see can he stand against someone like Poetan. And honestly, I think he has he has the skills to do that because, yeah. like you said, he is a well-rounded fighter. But I, I think it's it seems like in this fight he's really going to be staying on the feet. I haven't – from just like the conversations that I've heard with the lead-up, it's been like, no, he wants to make a point that he can strike with this guy. Because yeah. everyone's so afraid of him in the striking. Right. He wants to make a point that he can stand and – knock him out right so i think this is going to be a uh like a probably a kickboxing match to be honest um i don't see i mean maybe if like jamal hill has like some sort of a getting hurt in some sort of way where he has to like you know go for the legs but bro this is going to be a full-on kickboxing match yeah and it's going to be it's going to be really interesting to see what both fighters are going to bring to the table to make that difference in style or to even get the advantage, right? For sure, dude. Um, Prayer, I think, on one end, is he's definitely going to have to use the kicks. Yeah. The the leg kicks, he we we know he's known for that. Right. He's hurt a lot of the people he's fought with that. Mm-hmm. And that will be a big attestment to this fight, only because, not only because, but one of the reasons being Jamal Hill's injury was a leg injury. Right. Uh, torn ACL, and this the leg kicks will only make that worse, maybe even re-aggravate it you know so those are things to see from Poetan's side but then on Hill's side it's really just having that pressure because Poetan sometimes he gets a little flustered with the pressure but he does counter really well yes and we've seen him do that but do you uh, the thing is is Jamal Hill's power going to be enough to where he won't even be able to capitalize with the counter that's what I'm interested to see Right, can can Hill get his game on early enough right. and not be affected by the leg kicks? Because if right. Hill pieces you up, he'll keep piecing you up. And yes. against Glover, even when he had the chance to finish, he showed very at that point. Like that's when I'm most dangerous against these jujitsu guys. Right, right. If I overcommit to something and boom, they capitalize in the scramble. So he shows high intelligence in the octagon. Yes, Pereira has been doing this for so long though through multiple different sports. So the question of IQ goes either way. But yes. I also know I agree with you, Jason. Sometimes I some I mean with Izzy too. The Izzy two fight, you see him getting a little flustered. Yes. Is he too MMA? Yes. But yeah, he's saying yes. a little bit flustered, then boom, he and capitalized. He got, he get it, right? caught in the first, second, first or second round. Second yeah. round, yeah. yeah. And it was crazy to see that happen. Meaning, there's some exposure. If he's, you know, again, Polotan's got a strong jab. He's got yes. great technique. But look, if Jamal Hill can survive that early onslaught and test his power early on in established range. But here's the thing. Poetan may not look like it, but sometimes his leg kicks can come out of nowhere too, up to up top as well. Yes. So we got a crazy, crazy amount of, you know, expectations going into this for both these fighters. But Absolutely. Man. I don't know, man. You want to go to official predictions? Let's do it. Bro, I mean, I'll go first. <laughs> do uh, I mean, honestly, as much as I love Poetan, he had the finishes and everything like that too. But honestly, the power... I not just the power, the ferocity, the mentality, and I and and as well as the explosiveness, as well as the pace that Jamal Hill brings. He always keeps a great momentum and pace throughout the octagon. Every round he's not slowing down. No. Every round he ups. If he's not upping it, he's keeping it consistent, and that's how he overpowers a lot of these opponents that he faces. And that's where he's able to capitalize it. So if Jamal Hill, I'm sorry, if Alex Pereira does not find a way to, or he has to counter, get those counters early, establish that power early. Look, he has that God-given touch to knock you out with his left, right? right? We know that's possible. However, we've seen that even though, if does that power carry through the later rounds? I mean, he's really tricky in the later rounds. That being said, I don't think Jamal Hill's going to let it go that far. So honestly, I think it's going to be, with the pacing that Hill brings, I think it's going to be under four rounds with the KO. Ooh, okay. I really think so. Okay. With that being said, guys, like, the odds are close for a reason, but I just think that Jamal Hill was a, such a has such a great attitude going into this fight week. Right. Demeanor, as well as showing just being not afraid of that. And that's the thing, like we said, bro, like if you're just afraid of Poetan's power or you, you know these things are coming, you're a little bit anxious. If you can overcome the anxiety and let your st- skills go out and show what you're good at, then Jamal Hill has everything he needs to be a champ. He has the resume. Again, the only loss was to a grappler, which he got his arm relocated like 20 minutes later and right. then partied with the dude right after. Yeah, yeah. Poetan ain't a jujitsu guy. If he gets a finish, bro, that would be crazy. It would. If he gets it a finish would. like jujitsu style, right? But I right. don't think that's possible. Not possible. Not it's, it's not something unlikely. I'm not. It's, not it's very unlikely in my yeah. opinion. But hey, 
This is UFC 300. We shall see, bro. But <laughs> Jason, what about you, bro? What do you think official predictions? Oh, man, uh, I, I will say when I was uh, earlier in the week, as I was just watching some of the stuff, I was leading toward Poetan uh, just because I was like, you know, he, he's been sh- proving himself. Um, but then at the same time, there's also like the fact that when he was fighting uh, his first title defense, he lost. This is his first title defense in heavyweight against a really challenging opponent like Jamal Hill. Right. And I just and then I all and then after that, maybe like Wednesday, Thursday, I saw I was like, you know, I want to go back and watch like one of the Jamal Hill fights. And I and the for some reason the fight that I watched is the one that he lost. Because I was leaning towards Poetan, I wanted to see what he looked like. But in that fight, the only thing I really saw was Will and Hart. Like I said, I just mentioned it earlier. He was in the arm tri- not the arm tri- was it arm triangle? He was in a he was in some arm sort bar. of was an arm, arm bar, bar right? Think, yeah. He was in an arm bar with his arm dangling, broken or dislocated, right? In that moment, I would quit. If I was in that position, I'm done. I'm like tap, get me out of here. <laughs> this guy still throwing. And that moment I was like, you know what? I think Jamal Hill's gonna do it because he has the will and heart to get in. He has the motivation, I think. Oh yeah, so, bro. Holy shit. With my official prediction, I think it's gonna be I think it could really be done in in three rounds or less, uh, TKO for Jamal Hill, man. Holy shit. Locked in. Let's do it, bro. For UFC 300, United Predictions, holy shit, bro. <sighs> Damn, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. It is crazy. It's going to be an exciting fight, guys. The card is about to start. I guess we can kind of talk about a little bit from the other fights. Uh, I think Whaley's going to roll. Yeah. You think of Whaley? I think so, Whaley. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about BMF? Oh, man. That's a hard one, man. Give me your prediction, BMF, I, right now. I think I'm, because of the leg kicks, I'm going uh, Justin Gaethje, man. I, I think Holloway could have the chance to shock the world. Okay. I think Holloway's combinations are faster. He's going up a weight class. I think he's got something special going That's true. for lightweight. That is true. I, I, he coming back with a vengeance. He's got the weight on his side. He looked good on the scale. He looks hype. And if he can bring that pacing and is able to show some great evasive boxing, which he's known for, I think he's going to get a chance to get some ex- excellent stuff done. Okay. Oh, my God. Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukin. You already know I'm going my boy Charles. I think it's going to be craziness. But, again, if Armin wins, I just think that he had a really bad weight cut. So, I think that could be an effect. But, again, mm-hmm. you know, these, these – I, I can say is that Charles is always ready to bring the fire no matter what. Even if yeah. he's down, you can never count him out. That's so, true. That's yeah. true. What about you? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm with the culture with that. I'm going. I gotta go Charles too, man. Charles. I, I'm a huge Charles fan just as much, so I gotta go Charles with that. Yeah. And I can't. I, I just. It's it's a hard pick, yeah. but I don't know. I just I believe in him. So. I, bro, I mean he's the that's crazy that he's the dog, but it's crazy yeah. enough to think that he's been the dog before. Uh, so. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, man. And then I guess we can talk about Brundage and Bo Nickel. I mean, Bo Nickel's slated to roll him, but honestly, I think Brundage has got what it takes. He's got the skills. He's got the experience. I'm going to go Brundage for lols just because why not? You know, okay. like, if you're all are just going to, you know, assume that Bo Nickel's the second coming of Jesus, he might be. For all I know. <laughs> but, you know, but again, like, I just think that we've had so many scenarios where, like, a lot of these few grapplers, like, again, most recent memory, what was it? Uh, Rouse's Rouse's Jr. Yeah. Same sort of resume. Um, great, excellent grappling. Maybe not devil double NCAA right, level, right, right. but even so, like, known so for sexual hype. grappling, yeah. and then he got railed by someone who had basic takedown defense, yeah. was nose positioning, and was able to get it done just by uh, uh, pointing and stuff like that, too, so, mm-hmm. I mean, so, I, it's gonna be a crazy fight, what do you think, bro? Uh, I'm, to be honest, I don't know much about the other fighter, Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I just I'm just gonna have to go with the favorite on this one, and because I mean, Bo Nickel has definitely proved he knows he's good at what he's doing so sure. I, i'm just gonna go boom bo nickel on this for one. sure for sure all right guys you got our quick main card stuff as well as our big juicy breakdown for the main event of the evening guys i can't wait to see how historic gfc 300 is going to be because the card's been exciting so far yeah honestly maybe a couple of not so good performances but even right. then all the fights have lived up pretty great so far yeah. and then their finishes yeah. they're great so honestly let's hope that 300 k's in the water for all these fights to get everyone a little bit extra juicy and extra hype so <laughs> 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 oh man guys so without further Further ado, here's a reaction. UFC 300's main event, Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira for the lightweight heavyweight championship of the world. Oh my God! Round one, 455. Hill versus Pereira. Already with the leg kicks. Oh, okay, he's got some of his own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one's free. 
So when you risk throwing the inside leg kick, you're risking you know, a Poetan throwing something really dangerous, you know. Took a lot of discipline and hours for Jamal Hill to get back from that. Is he going to kickbox? We'll kickbox. Let's do it. Kickbox. I, I like it. Unbelievable that he was able to do it. Oh. Damn, bro. And that's one of those strikes, right? Jamal lunges into it. See, the, the lunging also risks the counter. And real one punch knockout pass. And he's also similarly built, long and tall. Crab his hand. I think it's a good way to check range, so. Laid in that usual upright stance, about two minutes gone by round one. We saw him do that with Sean Strickland. Getting closer. Oh, baby. Damn, bro. Okay, nice check. That lead leg of Pineda, very active when it comes to checking those kicks. Pineda's pressing. He's pressing forward now. Oh, he's like, no. No. <laughs> Shama. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, my God. No, 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 no. Yes, Holy yes, shit. Yes, yes. Holy shit. Yes! Let's go! Yeah! Oh, my God. Okay, don't go. Okay, you're right. What? Dude. What the? I imagine. Bro. Imagine first round KO. Do you see how I'm crazy with that shit, dog? I just literally said imagine. Dude, what the? F how did how did that just happen, dude? He said, so dude, well, wait a minute. He really the ref reset. Just he went bonk, and that's what happened. Holy fuck, dude. You Bro, how the fuck? How did Jamal just? just how did Jamal just? What? Why? He didn't do any grappling. Okay, sure. How the? Bro, how, All right, Jimmy. The, how did Jamal? Hit Oh my god, bro. That's insane. What Jamal? the? Dude. Oh. I am in disbelief. How did that happen? What the fuck just happened, bro? Holy shit, bro. Wow. Jama. Dude, what just happened? You know what? I got my Holloway when I'm okay. But no, Damn. I'm glad that happened because I was. Yeah, but that's it's crazy. crazy that was actually. Left hook. This literally what? the left hook. Bro. Bro, his lights were out. Dude, it didn't even. It barely Look, grazed him. Look, his oh. lights were out. Dude, he's retarded. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got him. Yeah, I, I mean, he got him goofy looking, bro. bro. Holy shit. Johnny Walker's probably some real giddy as fuck right now. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> and the meme. And the meme. I can't believe it, bro. Dude, this is the chip. No, he deserves yeah, the Yeah, actually, bro, he's gonna cook eerie again. Holy fuck. <laughs> that left hook is probably the greatest weapon in MMA. Dude, that is... It is probably the most dangerous thing. That is his Infinity Gauntlet, Pereira's left hand. <laughs> Honestly, I'm working on my left jab now, too. <laughs> He's I've out. Been, I've been doing the same jab. Uh, the uh, yeah, hook, dude. Bro, that hook is... Damn. He's like, I learned from Izzy. Meme. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. I really thought Jamal Hill... Like, he had the temper and everything, and then boom. I But it's kind of cursed now that he's got the fucking black belt, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of fucked that, it, that he gave him a black belt for doing absolutely no jujitsu. Hey, y'all. Uh, uh, we are back for acting the main event of UFC 300. As you see, my voice is lost. And if you catch some of our other reactions on TikTok or maybe some on YouTube, you'll know that it's because I'm going ape shit on some of these fights. How, with that being said, uh, uh, wow. Left speechless. I couldn't even comprehend that happened until Jason was choking me out. So that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Sometimes I just do Cause that. Cause you, hey, he got the black for you, like jujitsu, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, hey, note for that. It's crazy. He, Poetan must be the craziest dude ever. Cause he got the Drake curse and the black belt in the same night, and he still won. 
Unreal. That, yeah, Shama. Shama. But, guys, let's go to freaking brass tacks because what a crazy night of fights. Let's talk about the main event first and foremost because, my goodness, guys, like, I thought Jamal Hill had this, everything he needed to win, but it turns out all Poetan needed is a solid left hook jab. It literally is just like a pop jab, but it's just like game over, bro. I Infinity Gauntlet, Poetan's left hand. Insanity, bro. I I can't think of anything. It remind honestly, it's like it's like his jabs are like a like a oh my god, Josh. What was it? Uh, what's his name? Emmett. Uh, Emmett. Uh, Emmett. Josh. Josh. Josh, 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 Josh Emmett. Emmett's punches, right? It's like yeah. you know how he fucking throws a nuclear bomb every yeah, time. I bet that's probably what it feels like to get jabbed by Poetan. Because look, yeah. honestly, in hindsight, you saw him go to the body to set that up, and then boom, he does it so good. Honestly. Poetan set it up so well just because like even when he got kicked in the dick he was like stop no bonk yeah Chama. <laughs> bro talk to me Jason <sighs> holy shit man uh I honestly you cannot ever count out Alex Pereira's power because man did I did was I wrong because I really thought like Jamal Hill has a different kind of power because of just some of the knockouts he's done in the light heavyweight dis- division, but man, dude, for someone that never has never been knocked out or lost, like a uh, by like, I guess by knockout or TKO, for him to lose like that, that is nuts. And if anything, that just gives more credibility to him. Bro, yeah. And this time there's no early stoppage issue. It was like nah, he caught him and he ground and pound finished. Yeah, bro. And. That left hook, oh my, dude. Now I'm thinking, I'm like, how the hell did people like Adesanya take that and, you know, survive? Like, because even in the second fight, like, it was close. There was times where, you know, in that last sequence, yeah, he was getting the best of Adesanya, but he, you know, was able to counter on time. No but, question, bro. But, dude, this man is insane. I... <sighs> I mean, dude, it was such a crazy, crazy finish, bro. Because it's just so simple. Just that one and done. It's the same thing that he's done. He's done. Like, he literally, that's the same punch he basically threw against Sean Strickland. Yeah. The same left hook. And, but he said, but like you said, he sets it up so well. It, with it, the, it, it the honestly body. doesn't even look like a hook. It comes out like it's a like, jab. But it's like he, gen- it's the power he generates. It feels like he starts it so low. Keeps that short. Yeah. He's he just, yeah. just that. He's supposed to be a well-oiled machine for that side, bro. Because honestly, man, like. Holy shit, that's a crazy, craziness, yeah. bro. And the thing is, like, most people, when they're fighting from that, because he's orthodox, right? Yeah. Their their left hand is really just for the jabbing, and, like, right. you can throw hooks, but it's just really jabbing, and the right. right is the power hand. Right. But here, it's different. It's the left. The left hook is more dangerous than everything else he can throw. Insane. And Insane, and, and he, he set up the leg kicks like I thought he would. Um, Jamal Hill did a good thing of like switching stances and to, trying to, yeah. Yeah, to minimize that impact, but honestly, it didn't even matter. Because when Fulton closes that distance, boom, it's game over. It's, yeah, it was. That's it's like, that's crazy, bro. Crazy. Oh, Poetan right. literally made 300 crazy just by. And honestly, Carl was pretty wild throughout yes. and out. Max Bless Holloway shout out, right? Oh, man. But craziness. But even so, Wei Li going all in. That was yes. crazy, right? Yes. Even so, bro. Holy shit. Oh my god, I feel like I'm having a heart attack for thinking about all these fights, bro. Holy uh, shit, bro. Blood circulation, fuck, just because I'm fucking screaming going nuts on this car. But even so, I was left fucking speechless when yeah, that happened, yes, bro. Yes, yes. Speechless. I let him pull guard and choke me out, too. <laughs> Should never have fucking happened. <laughs> Uh, honestly, bro, uh, I'm not even mad that we fucking got Jamal Hill wrong, bro. No. We put, I put parlays on this shit, too. Even though, like, we put money and all that crazy shit. I'm not even fucking angry. No, I'm not mad. Because... Oh. This is not this is not something normal that just happened. Pereira just is like a doomsday. And honestly, bro, like... Honestly, maybe that loss to Izzy back then was really because of the weight cut, bro. Yes. I think I so. I think this is the weight cut, and then even then getting, but still, man, like you're you're dehydrating him to a lower level, right? And then you know, capitalizing on that. But this is his true body and his true weight to where he's so comfortable and he's able to do things like that. So, but apparently he's got some left in the tank for heavyweight, bro, because he then he wants to fucking fight a heavyweight next. I was kind of like, yo, we fucking fight John, yeah, be yeah, crazy. Yeah, talking about that, yeah. And they're like, no, 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 no. Well, guess what? Honestly, could you deny Poet Tong? Because he beat Yuri once, so sure you can run that rematch. Yes. Rakic got fucking clocked. That's out. And even, look, Poet, that's crazy, right? That shows how crazy Yuri is, right? He ate a bunch of shots from Rakic, but got fucking put down by fucking 
Pereira, holy shit, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I, I mean, it sounded like he would still want to defend his belt at light heavyweight. I mean, so. it's, it's still, like, yeah. He's yeah. still the last away in yesterday, but. Right, right. Could have been an issue, but could have been just, you know, just, flanking us all. So. Right, right. And then, I mean, if he, he, it seems like he just wants a fight in heavyweight. I don't think he's trying to go for a belt. I don't know. I don't. I, mean, I don't want to see him against like a Derek Lewis, but you gotta, you know, like I mean, hey, that's that's a uh, that's a crazy fight. I mean, Lewis. That's the thing is you have to go these big guys. Kickboxer? So like that's the thing is you go to heavyweight. We're going up against Aspinall, fucking Volkov, fucking uh, Sergey Pavlovich. Then there's John Jones, bro. What? Yeah, it's it's a different game. I think the Poetan's gonna have, probably have to put in actual muscle. But I mean, look. With his frame and build, he probably could put on a little bit. That would only make him even stronger. But, again, his speed and his the preciseness is what makes him so deadly. Because it's a perfect mix of, like, power, speed, yeah. placement. Bro, if there's a show called Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen. They have this concept of a black flash where it's like you get so lucky with a shot, but it's like a perfect shot. Mm. Epic shit happens, right? That's what that... F- Dude, Prayer can black flash someone with his fucking hand, left yeah. hand, bro. Yeah. Every time that shit lands on someone, it's money. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. the only person that seemed to survive it was a middleweight out of Sanya. But again, you're going up... He got him the first time to the second... I don't know, man. If this happens at like heavyweight, that rematch, that... I feel, feel like Poetan's a doomsday at that point, bro. He is. He, he's durability's there because Jamal's Hill was throwing some shots, but... Yeah, I mean, I think he landed, maybe landed one or two shots. Yeah, he body shots and leg kicks, yeah. and it's like, okay, cool, because he was afraid to go up top, but guess what, bro? Poetan wasn't scared, and then fucking popped into range. Caught kicked in the dick, paused it, and gave it right back at him, bro. Insanity, bro. Crazy. And and it for it to be like an actual, like, he was out, for him to be like TKO, like, not, like, almost, basically KO'd, almost. Yeah. Because he was out, bro. Like, we saw the slow-mo. I said some stupid stuff, but he was he was <laughs> out out like he was his his. <laughs> bro, I'm, I was saying his, his the, the Brazilians like Johnny Walker's probably at home like chama oh, chama, yeah, chama, 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 chama 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 chama. You locked me like a cartoon. Now guess what, bro? Eat that you shit got back. turned into you, dude. On and two, dude. He avenged all the Brazilians, bro. That Jamal Hill took out, bro. Glover, Santos. Oh my God, Walker! Damn, bro. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one or two, but like, holy shit! He bro. got revenge for all of them. He definitely yeah. did. Honestly, man, what a crazy fight, crazy set of fights overall. Holy shit! And honestly, I can't give a shout out without going fucking ape shit for Max Holloway, bro. That dude, ooh, amazing. Crisp, crisp. This man, honestly, we were so scared. I was thinking it was gonna be a Tony Ferguson all over again type situation. Nah, man. He fucking put Justin Gaethje to sleep, bro. I don't think I remember seeing Justin Gaethje put to sleep. Like that. Yeah, bro. And, bro, he saw him take eat punches from, like, a Michael Chandler, b- beefy Michael Chandler. A whole bunch of fighters. Poirier. Bunch of fighters. But, but I never seen someone get... In the heat of battle, like, they have fucking dropped. It was the last bit of the fight. He got his nose broken. He got his face kicked in. Max Holloway said, you can take my leg. I'm going to take your life, bro. He said, come meet me in the middle. And guess and what? He, and he only that guess what? Worst, and he stayed in the middle. That was the worst decision Justin Gaethje could have done. And you done. saw us going crazy. We were like, we were like, oh, no, is he really going to make him do that? Yeah. And then at the end, with one second left, yeah. flatline. Yeah, I'm going to try to put a compilation for the knockouts and reactions on the channel. Hopefully he gets through and all. But mm. yeah, guys, you're going to see it. I'm going to link it in the video if it gets through everything, all the all the bullshit, copyright, all that <laughs> shit, right? When it gets through all that. And then, yeah, you're going to see, holy shit, bro. This, honestly, 300, let's be honest, bro. When 300 was first announced, it sounded like ass from yes, the get-go. it was very weak. But yeah. holy shit, did it fucking deliver. Maybe no Conor McGregor announcement. That sucks. Yeah. But honestly, stars were born tonight. Legacies were formed tonight. Legacies were defended and new prospects and so many things were achieved, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going <clears throat> Max Holloway gets a title shot in two different weight classes. <laughs> Unheard of. So much greatness. The best is blessed. Freaking Money Moicano gets it done after getting fucking knocked out in the later yeah. round, right? Yeah, we saw, time, bro, we got saw Zhao Nan. Oh my god, she got put to sleep and then came back like a demon later yeah. on, even though she tanked a little bit. Even so, she showed so much heart, heart and grit. Yeah. You gotta respect the, the people of China, bro, for that shit, bro. Chinese girls, too, bro. They making the rest of these women divisions look 
awful, except, yes. you know, Kayla Harrison coming in with a crazy debut right. as well. Yes. What a crazy debut. Honestly, bro, the UFC 300 saw her off rough. It was honestly one of the best cards I've seen. Probably what, this year. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I mean, the year still got to go. We still have more, but yeah. as of right now. Yeah. I don't, don't expect much for 301, <sighs> but 300 had enough juice for that. Yes. And I mean, they did live up to the 300 name. That's for you to judge, but honestly, yes. they only had... Us getting more excited as the fights were going on. So, honestly, bro, I think he lived up to the expectations. So many finishes, so many epic night of fights. Three titles are on the line. Mm-hmm. B- uh, BMF, new BMF, because Mac Holloway's the bad motherfucker alive. He yes. proved that shit tonight. Put your ass to sleep if you want to question otherwise. Whaley proved that despite adversary with kinship, she was still able to overcome that, bro. Insanity. He, and then finally, Polo Tom proves that, hey, you can bet against me all when the other opponent can keep talking and talking, but I'm just going to do what I do. Shama, Shama. good night. <laughs> oh, I saw man. Him, bro. Insane. Insanity, bro. All the hype and everything, it was so worth it, so yep. crazy. Left a speeches at the end. I can yep. say, Jason, 300 was lit. What about right. you? Yeah, man. I think this was, like I just said, it was probably the, out of all the fights we've seen so far in this year, I think th- this event was definitely the best. And for it to have pretty decent like prelims, early prelim fights too, because we never we usually don't cover those, but we came in, we wanted to you know cover them because there was a lot of big names, right? And man, did it deliver on even those too? Like maybe not all the fights were the craziest, but just great performances from everyone, like you mentioned, one hundred percent. You know, from the beginning all the way to the top, like it was just greatness overall. And man, dude, what an event! Yeah, what bro. a event! I'm glad there's people like Dana White and Hunter Campbell and all of them to put these kind of events up yeah. and to build it and to make the right matchups that people want to see because, bro, yeah. craziness. Let's talk then. One last question. Who deserves those 300K bonuses? Oh, man. If we're going, let's go for prelims. Honestly, uh, early prelims, Moicano did, I think, a great job. Yeah. Lopez did a phenomenal job Lopez, round one yep. KO. Kayla Harrison did a decent debut, but it was expected. Ah, iffy. Ah. Uh. I mean, I'll, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to say yes or no to that one, but I'm just saying there's better candidates, we'll say, right? I would definitely say the main event and the. Well, Prohoshka. Bill Prohoshka. Prohoshka put a crazy. Oh, that eight. one, yeah, that one he was. Ate, good too. He ate a bunch of punches, too, too like, and then power throw. I'm trying to remember any other fights. The Lopez was the one, I think. Yeah. Main card, oh, I mean, dude. I think the, it has to be the. the BMF and the main event. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure, no question. The they other definitely... ones they were good too, but not not. I mean, K level. Yeah, and I, I don't think. Look, submissions are like look. Not disrespect to Figgy, he got the submission dub. That's great, and I mean, sure, but there was other submissions throughout the night too. So yeah. submission attempt, not the craziest thing to happen. Right. Honestly, I mean, bro, way if Whaley and if the if Whaley got that, she did get the finish in the round one, and then if Zhao Nan didn't have so much grit, she probably would have deserved one too. To be Maybe, honest, yeah. But hey. She, that was, these fights get competitive once you see the grit come out. And honestly, let, let me know, guys, even after, who do you think deserves those 300K bonuses? Who And, and react to who did get those 300K bonuses because I'm not. we're going to see the post-fight set a little later and everything like that So right. in the conferences. I'm excited to see how Dan announces for that. Hmm. Give Max Holloway 600. Give, you know, Chama 600 as well, <laughs> right? Go in, bro, like 300K for Lopez as well. I mean, that was good. I mean, who else? Like we were saying, fucking Brohaska did amazing, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Eight, eight punches like he was a demon, bro, and then came back swinging. Insanity, bro. Honestly, some great fights in the car, bro. You're gonna, or we're gonna, I'm going to try to get the compilation of all the finishes, our reactions to them, too, because we're going ape shit. <laughs> Insanity. I can't wait to show you the guys. But if not, please, thank you for enjoying our UFC 300 main event coverage. What a great card overall, but a crazy main event, bro. Insane. People going to bed early tonight, bro. It's going to be nice. Well, guys, thank you guys for watching our coverage for UC 300 for with Neverworth MMA. Give us a video like, subscribe, comment below. All your favorite things from this card as well. Some of your expectations. If y'all want some money, put dollar signs below mm-hmm. too. Some of y'all put some crazy bets tonight, best. So we'll see. I'm your host, here's my co-host here. Jason. Y'all have a good one. Peace.